the problem with the rock movements, the movements that are not following the musical ideas from the beginning, that those movements will never become comfortable for us, no matter how much we practice the piece. And there will be always the sensation of clumsiness in our hands, and um, that will bring tension to our body and stiffness to our wrist, and will always distract us from the musical and spiritual world of our performance. And now I'm going to tell you the secret of all the movements. Even the best smart movements can never benefit you unless they can be musical idea. Um, what I mean is that when we move our hand, we can control the muscle movements, but we cannot control the feeling and sensations while we're making these movements. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to give you an example so you understand better what I mean. We can say the same phrase um, and move our tongue and mouth the same way, but we can do it with different emotional content and the same phrase would be pronounced differently for example I can say very energetically I'm happy and then I can say very peaceful and calm I'm happy so <laughs> this is a different of sensations that I'm talking about while making the same movements and like I said we should not only control uh, muscle movements but also the sensations while we're making this movement and we can only do this through sound imagination and that's why if I play for example the same interval and just make movements automatically that will never work that will never help me to play technically easier because eventually the tension inside the muscles would be remained and uh, well, when I imagine the sound, before and while playing, it releases all my muscles right away. I don't know how it works, but this imaginary sound just flows through my muscles, releasing any tension. So this is the way how you achieve um, free and uh, very easy technique.